Hey guys, good morning. I'm super excited about today's video topic um, because if you know one thing about me, you know I love games. And so games I thought would be a great way um, for you to boost your morale, boost the morale of your friends and family, even if you're not with them. And specifically these games are actually for people that you're not currently with while you're on quarantine. So um, these are games that you can just do virtually through um, some work will work just fine with phone calls. Others you'll need to do some type of like video chat. Um, there's Skype, there's FaceTime, um, there's Zoom meetings. There's a bunch of different video platforms. Um, some of them would require that. Um, others you can just play on social media um, with um, just maybe setting up a group or an event. Tell them at what time you're going to get things going. Um, there's a lot of different options, and I really hope that you do some of these. Um, I'm planning on doing one um, tonight with whoever my friends, family wants to join in, and i um, just looking forward to having a little bit of fun. Um, I do need to say real quick, most of these games are actually not my idea originally. Um, I was um, watching the show The Circle on Netflix, which I highly recommend. It's a good show. And these people lived and had to, in, so they lived separately, could not see each other face to face, but had to interact with each other a lot. And so many of these games I actually got from that show. So anyways, um, I will also try to upload um, maybe somehow a link with the, just I'll type these games out. So then um, you can um, read a description as well as hear me um, to hopefully learn how to play. Okay, so the first game is called Who Dis? And in Who Dis, basically, um, you pick a celebrity and you could um, be in a phone call, in a video chat, you could even just be typing online, and you say clues without saying their name and trying to get people to guess um, which celebrity um, you are thinking of, and then you can just rotate it around, or whoever gets it gets to do the next one, something like that. The next game is Taboo, um, which is a classic board game. It's kind of the same, similar to Who Dis, where um, instead of a celebrity, it is words. And so um, you're trying to um, get them to guess a word like spaghetti, but you can't say spaghetti. Um, and you have to use other words to get them to guess it. So that is Taboo. Next one is Bake Off. And so um, this one is definitely for the people who love to cook or bake. Um, you pick a recipe and have everyone, you know, give everyone a certain amount of time to make it. They would upload a photo of it and then people would vote for which one they thought um, looked best or, you know, was best done, best decorated, um, looks the most appetizing, whatever you want to go with. Next one is Nailed It or Failed It. So this one, um, similar to Bake Off, except you can do anything. So you give everybody the same task to learn how to dance the Renegade or the Macarena or who can, um, you know, do it's whatever type of challenge where they have to videotape themselves doing it, upload a video of it, and then everyone votes on if that person nailed it or failed it, uh, which that game I think should be highly amusing. Next one is um, James named it for me because I didn't have a name for this one. Um, and he named it I Arted. So um, anyways, with this one, you would need a group of people who either maybe are on social media together or um, they know each other pretty well. But basically, um, they need to see a picture of whoever they have in the group. So basically, each person gets assigned someone in the group. So let's say I'm in a group of four. I would have Joe's picture, Joe would have Bob's picture, Bob would have Sam's picture, and Sam would have my picture. Just like looking online or if I just knew you. You give them like 10 minutes, 30 minutes, whatever you want. They have to draw that person and then same deal. Upload a picture of it and um, people vote for the best one or the worst one or the most amusing one or whatever you want. Next game, um, second to last game, is most likely. So pick some fun, um, most likely categories, like who is most likely to um, survive a zombie apocalypse or who is most likely to um, rap with Kanye or, you know, whatever you come up with. But find some fun, kind of different, most likely categories. And again, you would start a, a 
group text, phone call, voice chat, whatever, throw those out there. And then I like the idea of a video chat where people write it on a paper and then you say like one, two, three, and everybody holds it up and shows um, who they picked. Um, and then you can have fun laughing at, at um, who they picked and why. And last but not least is the good old classic rock, paper, scissors, um, where if you were video chatting with one person or a group of people, um, then you could um, have some battles of that going on and um, and get creative with that. You could even do a tournament where if, you know, you've got that little grid where you've got like see four people. It's like, okay, I right now I'm playing Joe and Sam is playing Rick. And then um, whoever went, you know, we said one, two, three, and everyone's doing it at the same time or whatever. Um, that could be fun. And you could have a little tournament and see who wins, um, you know, best out of three or something like that. So anyways, um, those are um, some fun games that you could play virtually. Um, some of them in group texts, group phone calls, um, social media events, things like that. Um, I hope you just find ways to have fun and to still spend some time with your friends, your family who you maybe can't see um, and just try to get creative in having some fun. Um, I love you all. Until next time. Mwah.